Thanks for sticking with us, everyone. I'm Danny Freed. We want to continue our health series with Nine Health expert, Dr. Pyle Coley. This week, we want to talk about something very important. We want to talk about cancer, specifically colon cancer. Take a look. Dr. Coley, it's always so great to see you. We love having you here on COCO. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for having me again. Of course. So this time we want to talk to you about colon cancer. And this is something that, of course, we should always be concerned about. But why do we need to be worried about this now in particular? So, Danny, colon cancer was the second leading cause of cancer death among men and women combined. And if you're a man, your, your lifetime risk of having colon cancer is 1 in 23. And as a woman, it's 1 in 25. So it's, you know, pretty common disease. And the thing about colon cancer is if you catch it early at stage one, it has a 94% survival. Whereas if you catch it late, the survival goes down to less than 20%. So it's never too early to start talking about colon cancer and screening for colon cancer. Okay, and you say it's never too early. So is there an age that we should be start to start to really think about this? So the American Cancer Society has recognized a very important phenomena, which is that, you know, we were decreasing colon cancer mortality in older individuals because we were focusing all our screening efforts on them, whereas incidence and mortality was going up in younger individuals. So recently, they've actually changed the guidelines and shifted down the age to start colon cancer screening to 45 years for an average risk American. Now, if you're higher risk because you have a family history, you have inflammatory bowel disease, you've had pelvic radiation or any other risk factors, then talk to your doctor because you may need to be screened even earlier than that. Wow. Okay. So yeah, you really mean it when it's never too early to start thinking about it. All right. So let's talk to you about how we can test ourselves from home because Nine Health is giving us some tools to be able to do that. Yeah, so there's two ways to really screen for colon cancer. One is direct visualization of the colon, which is a colonoscopy or a CT colonoscopy. Those are obviously hard to do from home. Those are done once every about 10 years is when a colonoscopy is done. But in between those colonoscopies, there's a great way for you to really assess your risk at home. And that's using a fecal occult blood test. So FOBT, uh, and essentially what you're looking for is blood in the stool. Now, not all cancers will have blood in the stool and not all blood in the stool is cancer because hemorrhoids could even cause you to have blood in your stool. But it's a relatively sensitive way for screening because if there is a cancer protruding into the colon and the stool brushes past it, it could cause blood to end up in the stool. Okay, and this fit kit that we're getting from Nine Health, this is something that we can go online and, and receive in the mail, correct? Exactly right. So you can just go to ninehealthfair.org. It's um, $40 and you can get the kit right into your home. And it's very easy for you to collect your stool sample, put it on the card, send it off in the mail and have an answer very quickly as to whether or not there's any blood present in the stool. Now, if blood is found in the stool, you'll have to talk to your doctor, probably get a colonoscopy or additional follow-up testing. Okay, so there's no excuse not to check. Dr. Cooley, thank you so much. We always appreciate you being on the show and helping us make sure that we're staying safe right now. My pleasure, thank you. Make sure you're in good health. Nine Health is working to keep you safe with those at-home screenings. Just head to ninehealthfair.org to get a fit kit today and mark your calendars. Nine Health Fairs are coming back at the end of the month. Head to their website to find out where and when you can attend.